Hi, so contour drawing. Contour drawing is when you draw just the outline of a thing. So when you're thinking about an object or um, a person's face, the contours, normally that's what we start out with anyway. So we're usually thinking about the outside edge of somebody's head first, right? Their whole shape of their head and maybe how their neck and shoulders connect. And we usually draw those things all separately, picking up our pencil and correcting as we go. In a blind contour drawing, it's a challenge because it's blind. You cannot look at your paper at all. And most artists try to challenge themselves by never picking up their pencil or marker or pen. I like to challenge myself when I'm doing a blind contour drawing because I cheat all the time. I like to challenge myself by making my blind contour drawings with marker because then I know I can't erase. And the whole reason why artists like to do blind contour drawings is because drawing is stressful. We want it to look like what the image in our head is or the image we're looking at with our eyes. But oftentimes, maybe we haven't been practicing drawing very often and so it doesn't look quite right or we can't be a photograph, right? So it just, there's something that stresses us out about drawing. So artists decided in order to practice looking rather than practice drawing, they invented this idea of blind contour drawing to take the pressure off of the final product. I showed you in my Zoom call on Friday a couple different ways to do the blind contour. I had someone in a video call with me and I clicked on their video so that I could only see them and I watched them as I drew the outline of their face and I think I did cheat a little bit. I think I did pick up my pen because my lips are totally separate from any of the other lines I made. This is something that you can do while you're video calling someone. When you're stuck at home, you could do it together. This is another one I did. Um, this person was wearing headphones and that made it a little bit more challenging. It was kind of hard to see where their, the headphones started and their head began. Um, so it's a little bit more of a challenge, but you can see part of their shirts. You can see I picked up my pen a couple of times I was cheating. So if you mess up and you look down at your paper, don't worry. But it shouldn't look realistic at all. That's not the point. The point is that we go slow and look at the contours or the outlines of someone's face. You can also do this and not have someone's face. You could have a plant, for example, or a bunch of bananas, or a mug. You can blind contour draw anything. You can even just draw your hands. Oh, artists love drawing their hands because they, it's right there. <laughs> and hands are really hard to draw. So I've decided today that I'm gonna draw my sculpture that I made last year. I was in a class just like you guys. Um, I took a class over the summer on how to sculpt with clay and how to specifically sculpt a face. And because I had my face with me in class, I sculpted my own face. So I'm gonna be drawing myself, and so it's gonna look pretty crazy. Right now, I'm gonna situate myself so that I'm looking straight at my face in the, my beautiful sculpture. And I'm using a sketchbook so that I can hold it up and maybe not see as much. I can hold it up like this or I can keep it on the table. It's gonna be harder for me to cheat if it's on the table than if I was holding it up right next to my beautiful bust or face. So I'm gonna put it on the table. All right, and I'm gonna to try to have a staring contest with my own face. Ah, this is scary. The best way to start is to think about maybe the shoulders or the head shape. And knowing that I have, my face is sort of tall rather than longer, I'm gonna orient my paper in the same direction and start off to the same side at the edge of the paper. And I'm just thinking really carefully about all of the lines. And once I get to something that sort of interrupts something, I can start moving around. So I only drew half of my head so far because things are interrupting my head. Now I'm doing the eye and, OK. 
kind of going back out for the nose. And I'm thinking about all the outlines. My cheek. And I'm not worried about what it looks like. In fact, if it looks too realistic, then you probably cheated. Wow, there's a lot of teeth in my mouth. Oh, there's the tongue. Ah! And my leather lip. And now I need to figure out some contours of something, maybe a wrinkle in my face to get back to the outside. Oh, I cheated. I don't know if you guys caught that, but I looked down. And I'm going to repeat some of my lines so that I don't pick up my pen. Oh, I forgot one of my eyes. Well, that'll be fun to look at. Oh, maybe I'll come back down. I cheated again. I don't know if you saw it. Oh, maybe there's a shadow I can do in there. Okay, I'm going to do another eye. All right, let's see. Ah! <laughs> Does it look like me? I sure hope not. Um, so your contour drawing, remember, I'm just practicing looking. So I was thinking about maybe some contours of shadows that are on the face. Um, you can pick up your pen, but then you can't look at your paper to where to, it puts down. So it's easier to just keep on moving and maybe think about a way to connect it back up. So my eyes aren't next to each other. I can tell I didn't cheat very much. I know I cheated a little bit because I'm honest, but that's okay. Um, you can make one blind contour drawing, you can do five. Artists like to do them over and over again of the same object um, or change the direction of the object. Maybe the next one I'll do, I'll do the profile view of my head. Um, it can be really fun to do as a family because they're really silly and they're very fun. Be creative. You can upload one or five. I love seeing your artwork, so it's up to you.